Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. I'm Tyler Patner. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new king of the power hill, the Air Force Texan LSS CF in 457 caliber. Now, a little bit of backstory here on the Texan LSS in particular uh, came out at the 2019 SHOT Show, uh, and it's basically the full length 34 inch barreled version of the Texan with the additional suppression of the SS version. So you get the full length barrel, full power, as well as getting that sound suppression that a lot of us like. In addition to the announcement of the LSS in the beginning of 2019, about halfway through this year, Air Force went ahead and announced that they had a new valve design, the TX2 valve, which was touting 100 more foot pounds. So basically taking a standard 34 inch barreled Texan or Texan LSS up to 600 foot pounds from an already impressive 500. And of course, that brings us to the LSS CF that I have here in front of me today. And the CF, if you hadn't guessed it already, stands for carbon fiber. Uh, Air Force is employing a 480cc carbon fiber bottle that fills the 250 bar on this gun. And when you couple that with the new TX2 valve, you're getting some ridiculous energies out of this gun here in the 457 caliber. We're talking about king of the hill, top end, maximum performance that we're seeing in production air guns over 700 foot pounds. Uh, so this gun is absolutely without a doubt the new king of the hill and we're gonna put it to the test today. All right, so first up is gonna be our chronograph testing. Now we're just gonna take one shot with each at max pressure, so 3625 PSI inside of this carbon fiber cylinder. That first shot's really giving us our max velocity uh, out of this gun. That's what we found in our pre-testing. Uh, and the second shot falls off just a little bit, maybe 30 to 40 feet per second. And that third shot really drops off quite a bit. So it's looking like two usable fills with most of your ammo. We're starting at 300 grains. We're gonna work our way up, see what our chronograph numbers look like, and then we'll go ahead and get to some accuracy. All right, so now that we've confirmed over the chronograph that the Texan LSS CF is producing a little over 700 foot pounds, about 720, wanted to talk a little bit about the equipment. I noticed you guys are probably thinking, hey, you guys don't sell a 495 and a 520 grain slug in the 457, and you're right, we don't. Uh, these are actually from our good friend, Mr. Hollow Point. Uh, Air Force told us we should look these up, so we gave these a look, got some. Uh, these are big hunks of lead, guys. Not necessarily the most practical thing for long range shooting, but if you are looking for the most energy this is going to be what you want now as far as what we sell the 411 grains and then those 300 grain slugs as well that we're going to be testing today you saw us chronograph them uh, so that's what we're going to be going with that's what performed best in our pre-testing at the office 60 yards on a piece of steel three shots we're going to be tethering the tank to make sure everything's nice and consistent for us uh, we'll see what happens The Texan LSS, uh, this new CF version with the carbon bottle, obviously putting out a lot of power, over 700 foot pounds uh, with those Mr. Hollow Point slugs. That is a ton of smackdown. Um, really, I see the applicability for this for those of you using uh, more of a lighter three to 400 grain slug that are gonna be hunting with this. This thing's gonna be awesome. Uh, it's gonna be producing well over 500 foot pounds with any of the stuff in that range. So this is certainly gonna do it for you. Uh, and again, that carbon fiber bottle is gonna be available in the SS, the shorter barrel version, the carbine, and the standard Texan as well. And those are gonna be coming at you here uh, pretty soon, but a lot of big power out of this new CF version. Absolutely awesome to see. Check out the new Texan LSS CF and all the CF line 
over on pyramidair.com now for the insider guys i'm tyler patner don't forget to follow us on social media instagram facebook hit that like button down below the video and don't forget to subscribe we'll see you at the next one